Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again. And in this quick tip, I'm gonna show you um, some really useful uh, viewport commands. So let's just get to it. Okay, so first off, um, when you create an object in Cinema 4D, so let's just create a primitive. Um, yeah, cube will do fine. Uh, it will create a world center. And that's all very well and good. But if you're off somewhere else, like over here, and you create an object, it's obviously going to create it off screen, so all the way back at world center. So what you can do is go up to mesh, axis center, and click on view center, and it will bring it to your current position's uh, center of view, which is really helpful. Now, uh, you can actually turn this on by default. So uh, if you go to edit, preferences, and then go to the interface, there's this little checkbox here, create new object of view center. Now if we click that on, it doesn't matter where I am, every time I create an object, you'll it'll create a view center. So that's really useful if you're um, creating a level or something and you're trying to create objects, it'll create them all wherever your viewport camera is. So that's, uh, that's a nice little handy tip. You can also reset, if you wanna go back to uh, world zero, so reset the viewport, default view you can go up to view here and then go to frame default and it will take you back to a view like you just opened cinema 4d up um, you can also frame objects as well so if i've got an object here and i've got another one there let's do another one here that's fine and i wanted to uh, frame this object here i can just press s and it will free frame whatever is selected. That also works with um, elements as well. So if I make this a editable object and then go into poly mode and select this polygon here and then press S, it will frame that selection. So you can see how that would be helpful as well. Okay, let's get rid of all of this. Um, and my last little tip for you is say I create an object and it's there and I'm really far away from it. Now I could frame that um, by pressing S, which is fine. Oh, by the way, if you wanna undo uh, a viewport change, uh, you can hold Control, Shift and Z, Z, and it will go back to the previous view. So, so I'm in this view, I grab this and spin around like this. If I press Control, Shift, Z, it'll undo my viewport move. So a lot like Control Z to uh, undo some changes you've made to actual geometry or whatever, uh, Control Shift Z does it for a view change. So that's another handy little tip for you. Um, but yeah, so say I've got an object created there and I'm working on some stuff here, I can actually bring this object towards the camera. So you could do that by doing this you know, which is a pain in the ass. You know, slowly slowly bringing it towards the camera. And you can see how cumbersome that is. Or, let's move it back to where it was. What you can do is grab one of the axis arms on your object while you're in the move tool, but instead of pressing left click, press right click, and then just, uh, drag it and it'll actually move the object towards the camera which is uh, infinitely useful so instead of you having to move to it you can move it towards you so it'll actually move the object to towards the camera so that's it guys that was a uh, uh, just a quick tip on some viewport commands um, uh, just one more thing before I go uh, if you go to the digital meet website and the tutorials page, you'll see that uh, we've got some votes. Uh, well, we've got one vote for um, uh, the next tutorial, which is uh, Cinema 4D plugins, real, real flow for Cinema 4D. So at the moment that's winning um, with one vote. So come on, get voting. Um, our other options are the shift priority tag, I could do a tutorial on that, um, or a, just a general modeling tutorial in Cinema 4D. Uh, we've also got a plugin called Forrester, um, and we've got a Unity tutorial. 
Now, as far as the Forrester plugin goes for Cinema 4D, I don't know how many of you are familiar with it, but I've got the page open here. It's actually a plugin for Cinema 4D that deals with foliage, and um, it's really, really good. Um, very quick, get some good results out of it. You can even have a, a sort of like a world wind going through all your trees. Um, and it looks very believable. So um, that's definitely a plugin that I'd suggest you check out. And if you'd like some tutorials on this plugin, get voting. Uh, just like if you'd like a tutorial on any other, um, any other of these options, uh, get voting, and um, that'll be the next tutorial. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, um, on the merch page now as well uh, it seems to be having a little bit of an issue loading let's have a look yeah there we go uh, I've now updated the digital meat branded stuff so if you'd like to support digital meat by getting a t-shirt you've got a digital meat logo with the text here and that's on some t-shirts and phone cases and god knows what else and uh, there's also a um logo without the text so if you just wanted the logo on something um so there's that and as always there's some uh there's some unrelated stuff i've got a series of images i've named embrace the void uh it's basically a load of nihilism on t-shirts so you know <laughs> you can uh get that kind of thing on t-shirts and f pillows and christ knows what else okay so yeah if you're interested in that i'll put links in the description um as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope uh, those tips were helpful. Okay, bye.